Hey everyone, this video is about the Casio FX7500G, which was one of the most unique looking cal uh, calculators Casio ever released. The 7500G was on the market from 1988 to 1991, and came three years after the release of its predecessor, uh, the 7000G, uh, which was the world's first graphing calculator, and which I have a separate video on. And although this calculator is functionally equivalent to the 7000G, with its folding form factor, it's quite different physically. Uh, and folded over, it's remarkably compact. Uh, it's only 14 millimeters thick, and it has a latch that clicks shut. Uh, on the back, there are four screws uh, that need to be removed to replace the batteries. Uh, and the calculator opens up to 180 degrees uh, and can be held in the hands or laid flat uh, on a table. Uh, and on its left edge is a physical on-off switch. Uh, and on the right is a physical uh, screen contrast wheel. And the keyboard is totally flat touchpad with adhered labels for keys. Uh, and it's laid out in a different configuration than the 5000G. So there's a section of uh, white buttons for cursor and graph keys. Uh, and three other sections of keys uh, that are all available on the 5000G but often in different positions which makes switching between the two calculators a little challenging. And it has an LCD screen that is 96 by 64 pixels, uh, the same as its predecessor but is more compact in size. So because this calculator works in the same way as the 7000G I'm not going to go into too much detail around the operation of this calculator. You can see that on the other video. Uh, but this calculator sort of ports the same uh, run mode for evaluating equations on the fly. Uh, you can graph uh, functions and it also supports uh, write mode uh, for entering programs. And this is where the calculator differs from its predecessor. Uh, it has a much larger memory capacity that allows 4,006 programming steps uh, versus 422 on the 7000G. It also seems to be slightly faster than the 7000G. So in summary, the 7500G was quite a powerful calculator for the time that pioneered an interesting design direction for Casio. And there were some clear advantages of the folding form factor in terms of pocketability, but there are obviously trade-offs in terms of robustness and usability. Uh, this folding design was also used by Casio in the FC1000, uh, which was the financial calculator equivalent to this model. But otherwise, this form factor was relatively short-lived, uh, with Casio's graphing line of calculators continuing through the 90s with updates to the 9000G line, using that original uh, traditional form factor. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful.